Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another lesson, but this time not in chemistry. Today we're going to take a look at algebra and review the things that you need to know in mathematics for science. It's said that mathematics is the queen of the sciences, and I totally agree with this idea. You need to be good in mathematics or have a working uh, relationship with algebra in order to be any good in science. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about expressions, integers, PEMDAS, or the order of operations, and how to solve equations. You will need pencils and graph paper. And graph paper is uh, the best to use here because it'll allow you to keep your work neat and orderly. You must know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You need to know how to use fractions. You need to know decimals and percents. So let's talk about algebraic expressions. A term, there's a variable, your coefficient, your exponent, and of course you want to be sure to recognize constants, and constants don't change. Algebraic terms. A variable, constant, product of a variable and constant, or quotient of a variable and constant. And there's some examples. A monomial is a specialized type of term. It's an algebraic expression with one term. 3x squared is a monomial. A polynomial, an algebraic expression with more than one term. A binomial and a trinomial are polynomials. And then anything larger than a trinomial we just call a polynomial. The binomial, an algebraic expression with two terms. 3x plus 5 is a binomial. The 3x is one monomial and the 5 is another monomial. The 5 is also a constant. A trinomial, an algebraic expression with three terms. x squared plus 3x plus 5 is a trinomial. And trinomials become very important in algebra as we uh, expand into our knowledge. Variable, a letter or symbol representing an unknown. x, y, or z are variables. A constant, a number or letter that doesn't change. 3, H, or C are all constants. H happens to be Planck's constant, which we will use in chemistry. Coefficient, any one factor or product of factors in a term. 3x squared, where 3 is the numerical coefficient of x squared, and x squared is the literal coefficient of 3. But usually, we're going to be talking about the numerical coefficient when we say coefficient. Exponents, the number in the top right that tells how many times a value is a factor. And so 3 times x times x is 3x squared, and we see that 2 is our exponent. A reciprocal. Reciprocals are very useful in algebra, and they are the inverted, excuse me. A reciprocal is very important in algebra, and reciprocals are just the inverted form of a fraction, and you want to be sure you understand that. Two-thirds is the reciprocal of three-halves. Now, here's what's really cool about reciprocals. When you multiply reciprocals, they equal one. So the product of reciprocals is one. Integers. Positive and negative counting numbers. And they are best uh, illustrated on a number line. There's are some positive. And here are some negatives. 
And always remember, integers are opposites. Absolute value. An absolute value is the distance from zero or the origin. And three and negative three are both three spaces from zero. So their absolute value is three. And note how the bars are used to indicate the uh, absolute value. Adding integers, rule number one. If the signs are the same, add the absolute values and use the sign of the numbers. So five plus three equals eight. Likewise, negative five plus negative three is negative eight. Adding integers, rule number two. If the signs are different, subtract the absolute values and use the sign of the larger absolute value. Let's look at, it. Let's look at an example. Negative five plus three, five minus three is two, but the negative five uh, will make the two a negative. Basically, there are just more negatives than there are positives. Subtracting integers, if a and b are real numbers, then a minus b is the same thing as a plus negative b. And a lot of times it's helpful to go ahead and change the uh, subtrahend into a negative number. Example 7 minus 4 is the same thing as 7 plus negative 4, and of course that equals 3. Or 7 minus negative 4 would be the same as 7 plus 4, which equals 11. And remember that a negative and a negative uh, is a positive. Integer practice. Let's look at some examples here. 3 minus 14 is the same as 3 plus negative 14, which is negative 11. And negative 14 minus 21 is negative 14 plus negative 21, which is negative 35. And then we have negative 14 plus 21, which is the same as negative 14 plus 21, which is 7. Now take a moment and look those over. Go back and uh, go through them again. Or uh, ask your teacher for some practice problems. Multiplying and dividing. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Examples, 5 times 3 is 15. And negative 5 times negative 3 is still 15. Multiplying and dividing. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 15. Now note there, when you're dealing with the multiplying and dividing uh, with different signs, there's always going to be two negatives and one positive. Something to look forward to. All right, evaluating algebraic expressions. Very important to be able to evaluate the expressions in algebra. So, determining the value based on the variables and operations. 5x plus 3 is our expression, but if x equals 2, then we can substitute the 2 for the x, and 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 plus 3 is 13. Order of operations, and the order of operations is easy to remember as PEMDAS, and that's going to be parentheses, which includes brackets and braces, exponents, then multiplication division, left to right, and addition subtraction, left to right. And the order of operations is something that scientists agreed on uh, a long time ago, so we just need to go ahead and follow suit. Using parentheses, brackets, and braces, always begin with the innermost symbols. So when we look at this situation here, let's start with negative 2 minus 4, which will be negative 6. And then negative 6 minus 3 will be negative 9. And then 3 
times negative 9 is negative 27, and negative 27 minus 2 is negative 29. Pretty cool, huh? Exponents. Very important that we learn to use exponents, and there will be a lot more on exponents later. You might want to take a, an opportunity to see if uh, I've done my laws of exponents video yet, and watch that also. But th negative 3 squared and negative 3 quantity squared are not the same thing. And so we need to know how to deal with that. Negative 3 squared is uh, 3 times 3 and the negative of that, which is negative 9. The exponent applies to the 3 only in this situation. However, when we have negative 3 quantity squared, it's going to be negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9, because a negative times a negative is positive. In this case, the exponent applies to a 3 and the sign. Uh, it's all-inclusive. And it makes a lot of sense, really, when you look at it. The distributive property. Uh, for any real numbers a, b, and c, a times b will be a, b, and a times c will be a, c. And we just distribute the a to the b and the c. Now, distribution is very important for algebra, and especially it's important uh, for understanding factoring. And so we look at our example here. 4 times the quantity x plus 3 is 4x plus 12. Substitution property. If a equals b, then a can replace b. And that actually makes a lot of sense. Notice that if x equals y plus 1, then we can put y plus 1 in 4x. And substitution is used a lot, especially in the sciences. Algebraic statements. Now let's uh, analyze algebraic statements. Uh, an algebraic expression. An algebraic statement is an expression showing an equality or an inequality. And basically what we're looking for is equal sign, greater than sign, or less than sign. What's most important to us, though, is the equation. An algebraic statement consisting of two expressions connected with an equal sign, such as x plus y equals 1. And what's really important about this is that you must have an equation in order to find a solution. No equation, no solution. Solving equations. Uh, only four things you can do to solve an equation, and that's add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And most of you should find that a piece of cake. And then a really important part of algebra is the golden rule of algebra, or what I call the golden rule of algebra, and that is whatsoever you do to one side, do also to the other. You can do anything you want, but do it to both sides. Very important in order to keep the balance of the equation. Let's look at an example. Solve for x. 3x equals 9 over 2. Now the first thing I'm going to do there is multiply by the reciprocal of 3 which would be one-third. Cross cancel, and voila, x equals 3 over 2, and the problem solved. Now that's pretty easy, but notice the usefulness of uh, reciprocals. Let's try another one. Solve for x, and x plus 1 over 2 equals 2 over 3. Now the first thing I want to do here is multiply by 6 for two reasons. First of all, it's the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. And I want to do what you call clear the fraction. And by clearing the fraction, we now have 6x plus 3 equals 4. Makes it much simpler to work with, and I don't have to mess with fractions anymore. Now, let's go ahead and minus 3 from both sides. Because whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. And that gives us 6x equals 1. Now divide by 6 and we get x equals 1 over 6, and it's solved. Isn't that cool? Let's go over our algebra toolbox. Remember that you can use reciprocals. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. You want to remember your order of operations, or PEMDAS. Remember the golden rule of algebra. And if you have any questions, 
Be sure to send an email to Mr. Cozzi at MrCozzi.com. And don't forget to check out uh, my website, uh, MrCozzi.com. There are PowerPoint videos and much, much more. If you uh, need more uh, mathematics, uh, shoot me off an email and let me know what you need. And I'll try to put together some more algebra or equation videos to help you out. Whatever we can do to make you better at science. Also, subscribe to my YouTube video. I understand that studies have shown uh, my YouTube video increases your IQ. All right. Happy eyes, everyone. <laughs>